How impressive do you think the 76ers were last night? Zero. Because, Zero? Yeah, because they should have never been here. I mean, nobody, everybody thought this was going to be a best-case scenario, Skip, a gentleman's sweep. We should have never had a sixth game. You th you, you're dealing with uh, Fred Van Fleet. He's been out the last two games. He's the only all well, he's He's the all-star from this year. Siakam had made the all-star game one time before. Yep. And so, it, it, for me, when I look at it, Skip, this team, the Sixers are clearly mm -hmm. better than Toronto. We should have never, ever had a sixth, uh, a sixth game. Mm -hmm. Never. And for some reason, now you want me to give them credit because they blow the team out. They, they were clearly superior, better than. Yep. Obviously, we had a James, uh, James Harding sighting last mm -hmm. night, considering that he was shooting 37% from the floor. He decided to tag along 7 or 12 from the field, 2 or 5 from the uh, three-point line, 6 or 6 from the free-throw line. Yep. 22, 15, 22, 15, and 6, you can, you can live with that. But, Skip, I mean, come on now. I mean, Scotty Barnes out there on one leg. He was. Get, uh, uh, Trent, no, Jr., yeah, Trent Jr. Trent Jr., he, he, on, he on a leg and, and a half. And Thaddeus was beat up. Yeah. Okay. So, no, I, I, Skip, you don't get no credit because you got Joel Embiid. Uh, you got a former MVP in James Harden. You got a guy that's in the MVP running this year with uh, uh, Joel Embiid. And then you have to go six games because you decided not to show up in game five. And then you want me to give you credit for something that you should have taken care of in game five for game six? Nah, zero. That's how impressed I am with it. Really? I got to go to a six because <laughs> I think the demons were lurking in the backs of every Sixers mind and in the backs of Doc Rivers' mind last night because obviously Doc has blown <clears throat> the most 3-1 leads in NBA history. Mm -hmm. This would have been a 3-1 debacle, chaotic collapse. And I was impressed because... For once, I, I thought Joel Embiid looked like the best player on the planet, yeah. even with the torn ligament in yeah. the thumb of his shooting hand. I just thought he came out and said, watch this. But more important and more to the point, that guy named Harden started <laughs> looking <laughs> like did, the yeah. guy who used to be James right. Harden, right. that guy. Right. And he did it from jump. He said after the game, we weren't going back to Philly for game seven. Okay, it sounds good after the game. Yeah. yeah. But at least he showed me something, especially in the first quarter. Wouldn't you like to hear him say that before the game? Yep, I would. <laughs> that, that would be something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that would be great bulletin board. But if you could back it up, it'd be even exactly. better bulletin board for you. <laughs> but if we could show you what, the, what impact James Harden had on this game right out of the gate, because in the first quarter alone, he's got... 10 points and five assists. And we're showing you right now, you can just see the impact on the game. These are just, this is an assist, no big deal, but he was in some sort of attack mode. Okay, I'll take that. Right. I mean, I mean I, I'm seeing glimpses of, of the guy who used to be James Harden. And he goes to the free throw line and he made all his free throws. So he's got 10 points and he gets fouled again, made those free throws, that's pretty easy. And he is imposing his will on Scotty Barnes and company right out of the box. And 10 points and five assists in quarter one, yeah. th th those are kind of numbers that you're on a 40-20 pace yeah. for the whole game. <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously, here comes Tyrese. And here's James. We're up to 10. These are 15 plays just in the first quarter. Again, that's a pretty cheap assist, but yeah, they gave like him one. Yep. Yeah, okay, it's a hockey <laughs> assist. Okay, I, I got it. But I'll take it. Right. He didn't do that much the rest of the way because Embiid then imposed his will, and Embiid did score 13 in the fourth quarter. But remember, this game was, is a one-point game at halftime, right. and I'm thinking, uh-oh, you guys are really about to get in trouble. Then thanks to Joel Embiid scoring 17 with seven rebounds in the second half, they win the second half 70-36. to 36. Well, all of a sudden, the Raptors just hit the wall. Right. They're too beat up, and they didn't have Van Vliet. Right. So they just finally said, no, Moss, we give up. But 70 to 36 is pretty impressive. It's ve that's very impressive, Skip. But look, I I'll give, I I was like, you, you mentioned it, that Joel Embiid finally looked like Joel Embiid, knowing that this is how he's going to have to play. He's going to have to deal with that thumb. And Miami is, is better, um, Miami is better than Toronto. It's as simple as that. They got a guy that can go take the game over in Jimmy Butler. Yep. And they got guys coming off the bench in Tyler Hero. They got guys that can take and make shots. Bam. Now, he's not hes not the most – he's not the heaviest guy, but he's a skilled defender. He is. And, and I think the thing is, I'm going to make other guys beat me. I'm not letting Joel Embiid shoot 70 free throws. Yeah. I'm not going to skip – I'm not going to let him get 40 points and 15 rebounds. I can't because you, you won't beat the Sixers 
doing that. Yep. But I'm going to make Tobias Harris. I'm going to make some of these auxiliary guys. Danny Green, he went four of seven last night from the three. I'm going to see if he can do that again in game one. Okay, I hear you. I picked Miami to win the East, so obviously I'm going to pick them in six games over the Sixers. But Jimmy Butler, does he have a lingering knee issue or did they just need to rest up a little bit? Kyle Lowry, will he have a lingering hamstring pull or will it be good to go by the time this thing tips off in game one? Well, Jimmy, well, Jimmy missed the last game, Skip, so he's going to have substantial rest in between the last time he played and the next time he played. The question is, Skip, does it flare up again and cause him to miss, miss more times? Okay, and I agree with your final takeaway. This series will come down to Joel Embiid versus Bam. It just it, it, yeah. can, can Bam bother him enough? Can he sort of contain him enough mm -hmm. to keep them afloat right. where, where then they can do their damage to everybody else? Right. Because they will do their damage because they are really deep and really good. Right. And yet, what I like about Bam is I think he's got the best motor in the NBA. Oh, yeah. It's just the best motor. Mm -hmm. and, and he will give you all he's got, and he sweats a lot, and he sweats all over <laughs> you, but that's that's who he is, right? Yeah. And he will attack Joel. Yeah. And if he can bother, he, he's not as big. Because no. I, I don't know what, does he go like 6'9 or 10 yeah, maybe? Yeah, he probably 6'9, 6 6'10. 6 yeah. yeah. But Skip Joel Embiid is what, 7'1, 7'2? Seven, one, seven, one, seven, Joel Embiid, I don't care what y'all say. Joel Embiid, 300 plus. Yep. I agree. And yeah, yet, he, he's in, I think he's, he's in, in great the, shape. the best shape of his yeah, life, yeah, of yeah, his life, yeah. but not anybody else's life, <laughs> right? Nah. But, I mean, it's, Skip, it's not easy to get a seven-foot man 300-plus pounds okay. in shape. All right, but will James Harden suddenly look like he's in shape and in uh, sync? And, all right, look, hold on. Who do you say they play? Miami? Do you know what's in Miami? Uh-oh. Uh, you, you know what's in Miami? Ooh. Ride one twelve. Man, thank you. Oh, man, Skip. South Beach. So James is like doing Man. this. He's doing the. We get to play Miami. As a matter of fact, James Harden already down there. He may be. He took a trip. Hey, he left straight from Toronto. He already. He's out. Meet y'all in. I see y'all in, in Miami already. He already there. I'll see you at practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, yeah. yeah. well, you better be practicing <laughs> in Miami because he ain't coming back to Philly. <laughs> I got Miami in six. You still like my Heat? I, I still like the Heat. I All like right. the Heat in this series. All right. Here we go. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.